absolutely jazzed today, stoked today to bring you the Earthrise Wave 2 smokescreen. This was the guy I worried about getting the most from the entire Earthrise line. And thankfully I got him. I've done a little bit of custom work. We're going to compare this guy to Blue Streak and we're going to talk about him in reference to his earlier classics iteration. We're going to cover all that in the latest Got By True review. Hey all, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, your most humble host, Dennis Moulton, a.k.a. Gotbot. As always, man, please like, comment, share, of course, subscribe, and while you're at it, light them up, baby. And hit that notification bell, please. It helps me out a ton to let you know when content of all sorts goes up here on the channel. Check out Machinery of Man, The Everything Factor, Transformers Collectors NL, The Autobot Family, Transformers vs. G.I. Joe vs. DC Universe vs. Marvel, and Autobot City Central, as well as all my social media links. That entire mouthful, all those links are in the description below. If you're in a position to help the channel to grow, you can use the donate link, check us out on Patreon, see what we offer to you through Teespring, or of course, you can hit the join button right here on YouTube, man. Just become a channel member. And if you're interested in this guy or any other Transformers collectibles or any collectibles in general, man, why not check out the Big Bad Toy Store? They probably got what you need. Link in the description for that as well. And this is Wave 2 Smokescreen. Look, when I looked at the Blue Streak, I said then that there were certain things about the transformation that I hoped were going to be better on the Prowl and the smokescreen mold. Don't have Prowl, conspicuous by his absence still, but I do have smokescreen. And as I started seeing um, Wave 2 and 3 finally begin to show up, Wave 3 kind of came all at once and it was your typical way of getting it. Wave 2 was so piecemeal around so many places and sometimes you'd see an alley con a lone alley con. Sometimes you'd see an RC, but it was so rare to see this guy. A lot of places, a lot of people said, no, there's lots of smoke screens around. Not here, there wasn't. So I, uh, as soon as I did see him, I nabbed him, man. I absolutely nabbed him, and I'm so glad that I did because he looks great. I think he functions even better than Blue Streak, and even though I painted uh, his main blaster white and his two shoulder blasters white, I think this guy is a close on perfect transformer. Forget about just a representation of smokescreen. I think it's a close on perfect transformer. Don't believe me? How about we head over to the table and take a closer look at this guy? Ah, yes, we're going to be taking a look at the new Earthrise Wave 2 smokescreen. And you'll notice that we have him in vehicle mode here along with his Classics Universe counterpart. We will compare him to his Classics Universe counterpart. We're starting him in vehicle mode here because we've already looked at this mold in terms of Blue Streak in episode 775 and we looked at the transformation going back the other way there. So now we get an opportunity to see the robot, or sorry, the vehicle to robot conversion. 775, robot to vehicle, the way he comes out of package. Here, right now, vehicle back to robot. I'll say this, I think that the conversion works better on smokescreen. I find it more elegant here than I do on blue streak. So, I mean, take that for what you will. But before we jump into these guys and start the comparisons and start the review itself, we have to look at the packaging first. Yeah, yeah, we have the packaging here at your Earthrise packaging with Earthrise stuff over here and back here, the product images. Uh, you know, looks great, looks good, totally dig it. You will notice that back here, the two smaller blasters that are like on his hood or on his shoulders are in like a uh, gunmetal gray type of color with his main blaster being blue. Here's the thing, all three of those should be white. You may have noticed that mine are white, it's because I have them painted. But you can get a small add-on set kit that's kind of a light gray that looks great on him as well if you are a stickler for that accuracy and on this side nice man nice artwork over there i totally totally dig it and we got some of them sweet and effective earthrise instructions couple things to note here one he does have the stats here in cybertronian i don't know what the first one is but it's the worst one the rest of them are great and you can see right here we have different configurations for his blasters you can put the main one with the two smaller ones to the side there's the main one or again um, when you put them on the side, like you can give him one great big blaster, you can have one in his shoulder and one in his hand, you can do a lot with them. I'm not going to put them together here. I did with Blue Street, but I won't do it here because I have since painted it and I don't want a chance of rubbing off the paint. 
As for the accessories though, we have two of these simple molded little white shoulder blasters and his main blaster, again molded fine, it's pretty simple, but it looks pretty accurate. And here we have two takes on the Earth Mode 4 smokescreen. Both of them are variations on the original, uh, like, you know, I guess Datsun model, so to speak. I do think that both of them are successful as an Earth Mode, but I also think that the Earth Rise uh, pulls it off just slightly better. That being said, I did do some custom work on uh, the like Classics Universe one. I made the spoiler red to match the rest of the red. I took off the number on the hood. That was some work. Uh, you'll notice I made a slight boo-boo here on the 38. That's unfortunate. I did put, and I can't really fix it, and I did put the uh, white line down on the bottom of the door. I'll say this, while I think the Earth Rise is better, it is missing the white line on the bottom of, of the door. I have not bothered to add it, but otherwise I think it's done great. Oh, and I did the front grille white here so that it matched the white right there, basically. I think it's successful. I, I really like the way it worked out. I love the tires on the Classics better. Now, I looked at Blue Streak, as I said in episode 775. I looked at... Uh, the original smoke screen in episode 450 was part of uh, like a kind of a custom showcase type of thing. I showed him, I showed a custom whisper as well in that. That might have been the only two things I did. I think I also talked about uh, the compound that I used, Bondic, as a way to do things because I kind of destroyed his door wings and rebuilt the ball joints on them. And rebuilt them well. He works fine now. Um, so, yeah. Um, yeah. Great. Good. Okay. This is how both of them look. I think they're both successful, like I said, for different reasons. Arguably, the Japanese version of this mold is even more accurate again. Though I think the blue on that might be a little too bright, maybe. Before we do any of the scores, we're going to do the transformation first. Now, while I have his blasters and whatnot off of him, you can transform him with all of them left on, but I'm going to leave him off. I'll say this before we get into the actual conversion. If you're not going to paint the tires and you want to use these Pegon ones instead of like a pin and a colored in rim, fine, that's your choice, man. But at least this time, all four match. Like we have blue and blue in the center and it's the same orientation and it matches. I'm thinking about the hoist and the trail breaker, like theirs don't exactly match and it drives me nuts, or the Optimus for that matter. I don't think his matches either, though I think that's actually accurate. Uh, that said, I like the match here. That works for me. The conversion, we begin by opening out the doors and we can bring the arms down. Love it, pretty simple so far. Then we come here and we fold these sections down and then we just really unfurl the entire leg. Obviously he's gone off screen. We split the legs and we take the uh, like heel spur pieces here and fold it down and fold it down. The lower body now is done, opened. I'm going to get him stood up. I'm going to kind of rearrange things a little bit so that we can finish this off. Oh, I'll say this though. Turn him at the waist. This is actually the back of the guy. And believe it or not, it's easy from here. Now, one thing I didn't have done is this piece here, it actually rotates down to kind of fill in the open space there. You have that on the other side as well. So I wanted to note that. We take the head, if you had it turned around, turn it the right side around. Take the arms and they come all the way out to the side. Now, you're going to start to angle things down. There are tabs right there and right here. When you angle, actually before you angle this down, there's a centerpiece here in the hood that you want to bring out. When you begin to angle this down, you want to angle it to make sure you clear those tabs. And that way everything comes down over his head nicely. If you don't clear those tabs, it's a nuisance. The shoulders have a slot underneath them, so when you bring them down, they should go onto those tabs. If you're like me, angle the door wings back just ever so slightly. Take the arms, rotate the shoulder so that the tire's on the back and bring the arm down. Rotate the shoulder so the tire's on the back and bring the arm down. Next we take that shoulder mounted blaster and we peg it in. We take this shoulder mounted blaster and we peg it in as well. And, oh, and I dropped them. 
We take his blaster, we put it in his hand, and boom, we have Smokescreen in his robot mode. So with the successful transformation under our belts, let's talk about the articulation next and get that done. And then, by way of comparison, we'll give this guy some scores. The head goes left and right and looks up and down. Some people, some people have said, I don't feel like the head matches. The head matches exceptionally well to the animation. Uh, the wing, door wings do open and close a little bit, enough to get out of the way so that we can get the shoulder around 360 degrees. We have an elbow a little over 90 degrees. We have a bicep swivel. We have a wrist rotation, which I love. We have, what else do we have? We have a waist. Um, right there and we have hips that go all the way out to the side bringing them down we have legs that can kick way up and they can kick back about that far which is far enough we have a thigh swivel built inside nothing hollow we have a super deep knee we have ankles forward and back and to the side like way in uh, we have a heel spur the guy stands like an absolute champion I, 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 I don't know if there's much more, honestly, I could want. But here he is next to Blue Streak and his Classics Universe counterpart. So, I looked at the Classics Universe version way back in episode 450, like I said. I looked at Blue Streak in episode 775, as I said. In terms of the paint apps for the Earthrise smokescreen, I'm going to say that there are nine. Why a 9? Well, he shouldn't have 80 on his door. He should have a 38. He doesn't have uh, the tires on top of his shoulders. They're behind his shoulders. And on the lower part of the door, he doesn't have his, like, white piece of detailed lineage. Yeah, lineage. That's what I said. So it's really close. Plus, out stock, out of package, the shoulder blasters and his hand blaster were blue instead of white. Minor things. Most people are going to look at this smoke screen and say, oh my goodness, he's exactly what I remember on the screen. Because he's so, so, so close. But he's not quite perfect. Super strong. Definitely the best we've ever gotten. So, a 9 there. I said that the smoke screen was also a 9. He's not perfect because of his upper arms. And I said that the... Uh, custom that I did of the classics is now a nine. So not across the board. They're all kind of the same in terms of how strong or weak a representation they are of their intended characters. Then we get to the articulation. I said that the articulation of the uh, classics universe smokescreen was a nine and a half. I said that the articulation of the blue streak was a nine and a half. Guess what? The articulation here is a nine and a half. So far, same across the board in terms of that. Then we get to the transformation, and that's where things differ here a little bit among all three. Nine, nine and a half, nine point two five. Uh, really, kind of across the board, if I'm perfectly honest. Uh, nine and a half, yeah, nine point two five to nine and a half across the board so far. The transformation. So for the classics, universe smoke screen. The transformation is about a seven and a half because yes, the door wings do like to pop off. We all know that about that mold. It's a nuisance, but it is what it is. It's not bad, it's just you have to accept that that's the way it is. The blue streak, I said, was an eight to an eight and a half. Because I said, for him, I think the legs on the siege mold handled it better and more smoothly. I found trying to kind of condense the legs on the um, Earthrise blue streak difficult. And I said, maybe it's just this version of the mold. We'll see when we get smoke screen and... Prowl, conspicuous by his absence. I can now confirm that the legs on the Earthrise smokescreen work like butter. That's obviously the way they're intended to work. I don't know why they don't quite work as smoothly on the Blue Streak or on my copy of the Blue Streak. But whereas I said the Blue Streak was an 8 to an 8.5, I'm going to say that the transformation based on the uh, smokescreen mold is a 9.5. Of these three... The overall score for the classic smoke screen was about an 8.25. It's all right. The overall score for the blue streak was about a 9. It's pretty good. I think that the smoke screen is the strongest. Everything is smooth on him. He looks fantastic. He looks the part. He works tremendously well. Overall, I'm going to say this smoke screen, while not perfect, 
comes in at a solid 9.5. And here we are once again, and here he is. Look, in terms of the coloration, this is close, about as perfect as you're gonna get. I don't, it'd be nice if there was a way to flip the tire up on top of his shoulder, but I'll live. Uh, I wish we had the 38. I don't know why they put 80 there. I hate when they do stuff like that. Uh, otherwise, the functionality is tremendous. The paint is tremendous. Everything is kind of where it should be and the color that it should be. I did have to color the accessories. You can order an upgrade, I know, for that. I've seen it. I don't know who makes it or anything like that, but uh, I've seen it kicking around. It, he's definitely worth getting. He's well painted. He uh, is well articulated. It's a smooth, nice transformation. I've heard of these pieces coming off. Ninja Bill had that issue. Not so on mine, so I guess results will vary, I suppose. Uh, kind of love the guy. Is he absolutely perfect? No, like I said, a couple of minor things like the tires on the shoulders, for example. Other than that, you know what? He's about as close to perfect as I think we're going to get. Let me know what you think about this guy. Did you like him? Did you not like him? Did you replace your classics or your siege with this guy? Or just add them to your collection of smoke screens. I'd love to hear from you guys. I appreciate you coming by and giving me some of your extremely valuable time, man. I do know how important it is to you if you're in a position to help the channel to grow. You can use the donate link, check us out on Patreon, see what we offer to you through Teespring, or of course, you can use the join button right here on YouTube. Become a channel member while you're at it, baby. Hit the subscribe button, stick around, have some fun with us. Don't forget that somehow, some way, each and every single day, man, you do make a difference. And I look forward, man, to the next time that you and I get together to have another visit. Either in the live streams on Thursday nights at the stop motion premieres or the old fashioned way, baby, right here. Inside the videos.